Now, the government this weekend played down the need for more coronavirus restrictions to be reintroduced, with Sajid Javid insisting England is firmly in Plan A. He did, however, admit action will be taken, if needs be, as infection rates rise across Europe. Joining us now from Westminster, the Minister for Small Business, Paul Scully. Uh, very good morning to you. Um, just on the situation there with China, as we've just been debating it, Peng Shui, um, apparently now OK, but as we were just discussing, you know, we just wouldn't be talking about this situation happening here in the UK. Uh, there is discussion of a diplomatic boycott. Uh, certainly that's being discussed in America. What's the UK government situation on the Winter Olympics? Well, to be fair, I, I, I'm not in the Foreign Office, so I don't really want to be, uh, you know, I always have my opinions, but I don't want to be getting in the way of um, di diplomatic conversations that may be p taking place. Um, but uh, but clearly, you're right, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's quite difficult to watch the news over the last few days about that situation. And you're right, that wouldn't be taking place um, if it was in our co co um, uh, country. But I, I, I take Andrew Castle's last point that uh, when he says not yet, I think there's lots of more discussions need to be done to make sure we can normalise uh, relations. OK, let's talk then about the situation with COVID. We've seen over in Europe that numbers are getting extremely concerning. As a result, we have new lockdowns, for instance, in the Netherlands and in Austria, and Austria has in introduced a mandatory vaccine. We know that if we ignore what's happening in Europe, it comes back to bite us. We saw that with what happened in Italy, where we seem to sort of look at those pictures of the hospitals filling up right at the beginning of the pandemic, assumed it wasn't going to happen to us, and then we know the devastating toll of, of not taking it seriously enough. What is the government's position on new restrictions, especially in the run-up to Christmas, as we're all indoors, socialising, circulating more? It is a different situation, different picture in the UK, but you're right when you talk about assumptions. We should never assume everything. We, anything. We've got to be driven by the very latest data and what we're seeing both in the UK and elsewhere. Um, we have a plan B, uh, but we don't see at the moment any need to go towards plan B. We, it, we wouldn't be a responsible government if we didn't have that in our pocket. But nonetheless, it's a different situation because of the success of the vaccinations, because of the booster programme that is continuing uh, with success at the moment. Uh, the fact that uh, w case, case levels... Uh, are the, the, the link between case levels and hospitalisations has been drastically weakened uh, and indeed deaths because of the vaccination programme. Regarding the vaccination programme, though, I mean, we, you know, part of the protests that are going on in other parts of Europe are because of compulsory vaccines and, uh, and, and the threat of compulsory vaccine and vaccine passports. If we get to a situation here where simply not enough people have had the vaccine, I know you said there has been a successful vaccine rate, but we, we started off very well, but actually we're lagging behind lots of European countries now simply because we didn't vaccinate young children as quick as uh, some of the European countries did, for example. But if we get to a situation, there's still a sizable amount of people that haven't had the vaccine and therefore we don't have enough immunity and there's always a threat of new variants coming... What do we do then? I mean, surely at some point you may need to consider incentivising or indeed compulsory vaccination. Well, incentivising, yes, but compulsory vaccinations, I don't see it. Um, what do you mean by incentivising then? So what, 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 would you, well, no, what, would that, what does that mean? You said yes to well, that. What's that then? Well, in, in terms of encouraging people to go out and get their vaccination, positive moves towards, uh, um, to, towards getting a vaccination rather than, uh, as you're describing, compulsory vaccinations, which is what nobody wants to see. Um, but it's in everybody's interest to make sure that they're protecting themselves, but clearly they're protecting their community. Because you're right, there are, you know, variants that we need to keep an eye out for, the variants of concern, um, and we, we will, we're, we're right at the, the forefront of uh, the sequence testing that we do here in the UK to identify those variants in the first place. So we've got to be vigilant. We can't assume everything, but we really don't want to be going down the road of compulsory vaccinations. And we even before then, we don't want to be going down the ro road of limiting our economy again because we saw how damaging that stop start approach was this time last year. Uh, what, why don't we say to people right now, a very simple thing, when you're in a confined area, a busy space with people you don't know, put on a mask. Why don't we just say that now? That, that can only help. Why aren't we just doing that? 
Well, that's what we're saying. That's exactly what we are saying. We're, what we're not doing, we're not legislating for it. We've, uh, we've ch- we, we, we're p- trying to put the onus back onto people to use common sense, to have informed decisions and say, yes, exactly that. Okay. If, you are, that, if you're in, 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 in case, closed spaces, wear it, a mask. In, in, in that case, if you're saying it's common sense and that's what you're saying, people in confined areas to wear a mask, why did Boris Johnson do this? Let's see the picture of this. Boris Johnson on a train last week, busy train there, and apparently he had his staff with him as well, He's not wearing a mask. Are you saying the Prime Minister's not got any common sense and not following his own advice? No, we've seen this before. We've seen various... Uh, you would have... You well, couldn't find... Mr Scully, you just told us. Y- you people have watched it. You can't... People can rewind if they're watching this. Now, you just said be, you want people to use their common sense when we... And I asked you the question about confined areas. Because we've just seen Boris saying, Johnson there oh, not taken, wearing a mask. I mean, which picture. bit of that do, are we you, supposed to believe is common sense? I mean, it's not... It, he's not using his common sense. And if the Prime Minister... He's done it again two weeks, two weeks ago in a hospital. In a hospital. Not um, wearing a mask now on a busy train. If the prime minister's not using his common sense, why should anybody else, Mr. Scully? Well, look, it's not a monologue. I mean, basically, what you'd have seen with the uh, with pictures in the hospital and these kind of things, what, you, you're not seeing the whole thing. The, the 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 explanation in the hospital was that the vast majority of the time he was wearing a mask. There will be times, I'm sure, okay, that you'll find me. What about on the train? Me, what about on the train? Th- I'm sure there will be times that you'll find me when I when I, I'm coming off a train or something like that. that I may have taken a, a mask off for five, ten seconds, but when I'm Would on a train, when I'm in the tube, so you uh, do, especially so you... in a crowded thing, I do wear my 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 my, my mask for respect for other people as much as protecting me. So Boris Johnson, what, he'd taken it off at... What was he doing at that point know. when he took it off? Adel, you've, shown me a, you've shown me a single photo, I don't know, but that's sort of what newspapers are there to do, to take photos of people, to put them in there, to write a headline and, and, and get people to buy their papers. That's, that's <laughs> almost the definition <laughs> of a newspaper. I can't give you the, any more context it's the than newspaper's the photo you just fault. Show me. It's, it's, it's the newspaper's fault that Boris Johnson was no. photographed without a mask on a busy train. It was the newspaper that photographed them, but I. But, I, but all I'm saying fault. is, not, I can't give you any fault. context. From... Ju- I don't think it was a newspaper. It could have been somebody on the train. I don't know who it was. I mean, I, you know, I don't well, know whether they had press so you following. you don't know. So basically, you don't even know. But what I'm but saying you, but, is, you've sent me a single but snapshot. But you're the one who just told Prime me Minister. it was common sense. You just said use your common sense, and I've shown an example of the most important person in this country who's leading us who hasn't shown common sense. Why? But I don't know the context of that single single the um, snapshot. The context is on a train you, you, and we're in a you pandemic. Just told, you just I'll told give me the you context. Don't know the context. We're in a pandemic. No, Adam, He's on a just, train. No, How much more you don't, context do you need? You didn't give me the context. You just told me I don't know. You don't know who took it. You don't know where it was. You don't know what, uh, who whether took he had it, it on Why before. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Seriously, why does it matter who took it? The photo well, is it there. It matters if you see that person. What's the context? Would it take? Take your it mask really off. matters yeah. if you're telling me with five and f- five seconds before that you, you what's the context, and then five seconds later you say you don't know the context. That's what I mean about a snapshot. The prime minister still maintains the fact, and as we all do, that if you're in a, 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 a busy spot, if you've got a lot of people around you, you should be wearing a mask out of respect for other people. But it's down to you. you we're not legislating for it. We're le- learning to live with COVID, but we but we're trying to back away of. In, of, of pushing back on people's liberties as we have for 19 months. Well, what about it's a vulnerable balance, but it's I a worry about, we've got to strike. Look, I'm with you a little bit. I want a bit of freedom and it does annoy me, but getting on a train or a bus or on a tube or whatever... Or I going think, into a hospital. Or going into hospital. Yeah, I'm thinking about the vulnerable people. And there are lots of people who have got underlying conditions, who haven't been able to have the vaccine, who are go- undergoing operations on their way to hospital to have, a, have treatment. They can't use public transport because people like the Prime Minister Boris Johnson may, in some context, take his mask off. And so do you not see that we should help those people? It's not about me or you or our freedom. It's about helping people who just haven't even got freedom, but they might be, their life might be threatened, their health might be threatened. So, Surely so you Adam, can see me, that, Mr Scully. Adam, let me give you an example. Yesterday I was travelling back from London to home, I got on a bus and um, I, hadn't, I forgot to put my mask on, I paid, I put my mask on. If someone had taken a photo of me at that point when I was tapping my, my card on the Oyster Reader, um, I would have not had a mask. Within five seconds of doing that, I had the mask in my other hand, I had my mask on. So... The message remains the same. If you are in a crowded space, you should be wearing a mask, and that's that's up to all of us to make sure we're respecting other people and doing so. Okay. All right, Paul Scully, thank you very much uh, indeed.